Come on, let's go ahead and make up these here mashed potatoes up right now, okay? First thing we're gonna do is take um, four potatoes, four nice sized potatoes. We're gonna cut each end off. And then I got a potato pillar, and I'm gonna start peeling these potatoes, all right? So we're going to steam the potatoes. So I'm not gonna actually cook these potatoes in a pot over the stove, but I'm going to steam them in a steamer, and you will see it. All right, it's coming up. So this is how we um, do the potatoes with the with the pillar. But if you do not have a potato pillar, all you have to do is cut the ends off of the potato and do exactly as I'm doing right here. All right, so practice makes perfect. As you can see, I still need a little bit more practice. But like I say, this is the easiest way for me to peel a potato without having a potato pillar. So the next thing we're gonna do after we got this, um, got these potatoes peeled up, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our potatoes and we're going to slice them from top to bottom. All right. So just take your knife, start at the top, take it and cut it straight down. Now we're gonna take the flat surfaces of the potatoes, lay it on the cutting board, and just firmly um, cut these up and slice it. So I'm not gonna pretty much put these in you know try to make cubes or nothing like that but I just want to cut them up because I'm putting them in the steamer this steamer right here is one of the best gadgets I found at Goodwill so I'm setting this timer at 25 minutes that's all you have to do set it and forget it walk away man look at that gravy you can't have mashed potatoes without gravy you know what I'm saying one of these days, I'm gonna do a recipe letting you know how I come up, how I make these here, um, this gravy for the mashed potatoes. But look at the three on top of that. That's $3. This steamer cost me $3 at Goodwill. If you guys see something like this at Goodwill, I'm telling you, pick it up. Don't let it sit on the shelf. Go ahead and get it. It's a nice investment. So now that the potatoes are done, they're steamed up, we're putting them inside of a bowl. Now I'm gonna add me some salt to this. We're gonna toss in some black pepper and some soul food seasoning. You can use all purpose seasoning, it's okay. Then we're gonna put in some garlic powder and some cayenne pepper. Along with that, some onion powder. Then we're gonna toss in some butter and some whipped cream. Now we're gonna take our potato masher, all right? And just start mashing. Mashing until you can get the consistency that you want. Some people like their mashed potatoes lumpy, some people like them smooth, or you could blend it in a blender, or you could use a hand blender, whatever works for you. So now since we've pretty much then beat these potatoes to death, we're gonna go ahead and pretty much get our plate fixed up because the potatoes are smooth and they're ready to go. Now look at here. That's that gravy that I'm talking about. Now the pork chops that I have on this here plate that goes with these here mashed potatoes and gravy is called Normandy pork chops. They're baked with apples and I'm definitely going to do a video showing you guys how I come up with this here recipe. It looks so good and tasty. Look at those potatoes getting drenched and dredged in that there gravy. Lord have mercy. I want to thank you guys sure enough sure enough for checking out Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Also, do me a favor, hit that red button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and become a Ray Mac family member. I really appreciate all you guys for taking out the time for checking out my videos. I want to say thank you. Love not hate. Peace.
on Sundays, we will be trying something new. It is called Subscriber Shout Out Sunday. So if you have a YouTube channel and you would like to have a shout out for your channel, all you have to do is go to the show more section and fill out the subscriber form and you will get a shout out from Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. Now, this is another thing I like for you guys to do. Visit me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And also subscribe to my channel by clicking on my picture and you can could also check out this video while you're here so thank you love and not hate peace love you all before i go love somebody and hate nobody peace